Okay, welcome back to another video. And in this lesson, we're actually gonna talk about premium and discount, which is a technique that we can use to find if price is basically at a good deal for us to buy or sell, depending on where it's at in the newly created range. So as I'm sure you're aware, each lesson that we go on, we are adding more and more um, confluences and more and more ideas and concepts to understand how and work towards how to frame a trade with smart money concepts. And so one of the simplest tools, and this is like pretty common knowledge, you may have even heard this on my YouTube channel or any other influencers YouTube channel talking about premium discount, but we're going to add it into the course because it is something that is totally valid and can keep you out of a lot of bad trades and get you into really good trades. And so we kind of have to, um, you know, rerun through really quick the break of structure and the newly created range. And so I'm just going to use this leg right here or this range as our example. And then we'll run through a few more in this same um, little trend that we have um, and do a few different examples. So at this point in time right here, we did have this little bounce, this little pullback and then a continuation, which caused the break of structure. And so at this point in time, as soon as price trades through that and closes below it, that's considered a break of structure. And we know that it's very likely that this is our lower high and that at some point in the future, price is going to form a lower low and pull back. And so it did that shortly after breaking structure, forming a lower low at this candle and pulling back up into this range and continuing on, or at least trying to continue on down lower. Um, and the expectation is that price would continue to trade below this low. And so um, we don't really want to talk about any of that, that kind of like expectation continuation stuff right now, because we're going to get into why this didn't and everything later on in the video and or later on in the course and spotting reversals and stuff um, here within a few lessons. And so all we really need to pay attention to right now is this newly created range that we have defined by that breaker structure. And so now we're going to use our Fibonacci tool that you should have customized in the beginning of this uh, course when we did the trading view setup. If you don't have your um, Fibonacci tool set up the same way that I do or similar to the same way that I do, then be sure to go back a um, few videos to the trading view introduction. And I walk through how to set up all the drawing tools on the chart. And yeah, so that would be covered. The Fibonacci tool will be covered in that section. All you need to do for premium and discount, it's really simple. I think you can see that <laughs> Like the idea, literally to understand it, it takes about once, like a fraction of how long this video is, but I have to kind of lay it out for you to actually understand. And so select your Fibonacci tool. And from this lower high to this lower low, using the control or command button, we're just going to snap on our Fibonacci tool and see those lines drawn across the chart. And so the price action or any price on any chart after a break of structure, it's always trying to find the equilibrium. Okay. And the equilibrium can be defined as the 50% line. So this lower high to this lower low, we have our Fibonacci, the zero points on the lower high and the lower low. It really doesn't matter if yours has a 75 on the top or the bottom. It, it does not matter at all. What really matters is the 50% line. And so yeah, price, as you go through this and as you understand and accomplish the homework, the um, price action is going to always try to return back to the equilibrium before continuing the trend or before reversing. And so in this example, we can see price trades down and it pulls back and it does come just barely across the 50% line before at least attempting to continue on in that in the same direction as the breaker structure. And so we can use this tool to only sell above the 50% line and only buy below the 50% line. And you'll see as we add more confluences that this will help keep us out of bad trades and help get us into good trades and also just help define which direction, um, like which direction we should be trading as well as if we are getting a good price on what we're buying and selling. So as traders, we need to understand that like, we're, if we're not getting a good price on the instrument that we're trading, then we don't take a trade. It's the same thing as if you're buying and selling a car. If you find a car that's really overpriced, why would you buy it? Why would you not wait for the price to come down? Or at least um, if not look for 
a better deal somewhere else um, to get a lower price on that vehicle or on whatever it is that you're buying in life. Like everyone knows this and this is how we can use um, the Fibonacci tool and use this concept to apply it to our charts and make sure we're getting the best possible deal on whatever asset we're trading. And so let's go ahead and go through a few more examples and just apply this really quickly to other um, ranges that are created in this little example that we've been running through so far in the course. And so, yeah, we have a change of character right here. I'm going to start marking this zone because here in a minute, we're actually going to go over a change of character. So I know that it's not actually a break of structure, but we do have a change of character, pullback, continuation, and that causes a break of structure right here. And so at this point in time, we do have two different examples we can apply this on. So because we got this change of character, which is just a wick above an old high, and I'll go into change of character here shortly in the next couple lessons, we can then use our Fibonacci tool to mark that high and this low. So we understand that with the change of character, it's basically a very similar concept to a break of structure and that high or this low down here is the bottom of our newly created range and this high once we see price pull back is the actual high i actually just realized i marked that completely wrong so hopefully that didn't confuse you um i still even make <laughs> rookie mistakes like that so this high is the high of the newly created range once we see price start to pull back and what happens price trades into this newly created range and it trades below the 50 percent line before continuing the trend up to break uh to break structure so we can start to frame a buy below the 50 percent line or what's also known as the discount of the range and so discount of the range is below the 50 percent line in a um well it's yeah it's always below a 50 percent line and a premium is always above the 50 percent line and so we want to buy in the discount and we want to sell on the premium and that goes for egg both entering and exiting a trade so if you're looking to take a long position you would buy in below the discount or excuse me in the discount of the range and then you would sell in the premium or at the break of structure or along those lines which we'll go over later on in the course and so let's go ahead and move to the next example so we have a break of structure here which I already marked on the chart price continues on and it starts to pull back at which point in time we know that this is now going to be our newly created range And this is our low. And we can see that price actually wicks our old low and continues on to break structure above here. And so if we were framing a trade and we're using confirmation entries, it's very likely that we did not actually get into a trade here because we would have waited for a confirmation um, on a lower time frame. But without getting too far ahead of ourselves, there are people who could have taken a pending order here and their pending order would be set below the equilibrium and it would be in the discount range and you can see that price did trade a little bit lower but it did not actually break structure so this is just a liquidity grab and price then continues on and to break structure on that new high okay and so let's go ahead and just do one more example we can see i'm going to just zoom in and just um get like a a really up close look so that we can define it a little bit without all the extra noise here. So on this lower time frame, little pullback, we do have a break of structure. Let's pay attention just to this chunk of price right here. Okay. So we have a pullback, a break of structure, and then price trades back down and continues the trend to break a new high and continue that, um, that, bull that bullish momentum. And so, at this point in time, as soon as we see price start to pull back, we can see this is our new range high, and this will likely maintain our new range low. And we can then apply our Fibonacci tool to the high and to the low of this newly created range. And so we can see what happens. There's the 50% line, and price does trade below it into the discount of the range before continuing onward and up to form a new high. And so, yeah, it's really that simple. Um, anytime you have a break of structure and a newly created range, you can just put on the Fibonacci tool 
And if you're looking for a buy, you can wait till it comes below the 50% line and look for your pending order or your confirmation trade. And anytime you're looking for a sell, you can wait till it goes above the 50% line and look for that pending order or confirmation sell in any time frame at any market. And so as you go through the homework and apply this to your charts, you'll start to see that it would keep you out of a lot of trades. And this is going to be an added confirmation and added confluence that we use going forward to frame our trades around. So I'll leave that there and we'll see you in the next video.